Hi, I wanted to talk about funding rounds because I'll often hear entrepreneurs talk about raising a round of funding and they may say I'm raising a seed round. And oftentimes that terminology may not act really apply um, to your situation. So it's really good to maybe you not use that terminology at all unless you really know what it means and um if it applies to you, great, but if not, maybe use different terminology, which I will suggest other ways of talking about it at the end of the video. But um, I just want to explain, like, what is this idea of a funding round? So a company that is on a high growth path, you know, usually a tech company that's trying to raise venture capital style funding because they're trying to go for like market domination and growth at any cost. It need, that type of company needs a very constant influx of capital. So usually they'll be raising money from investors maybe every 18 to 24 months. Um, and that's why it's called funding rounds because every time they go out to raise more money, each time it's called a funding round. And, you know, there's kind of, um, you know, you'll hear it referred to as like a seed round, which is maybe the first money you raise um, from institutional investors. And then there's like A round, B round, C round. And that refers to a very particular thing, which is um, A round refers to series A preferred stock. And so the terms of the preferred stock are going to be venture style terms, which means they're going to, you know, take some control into, by having a board seat they're the only way they can really make any money is if you have a big exit by selling to a big company like you know google facebook etc or um you know having doing uh going public which isn't nearly as common um so it's a very particular style of funding and so the the first vcs that come in will get series a and then maybe like 18 months later, you'll raise another round of funding because you have to fuel more growth and get bigger and dominate more of the market. And that'll be the B round where you're, you're getting, um, you're selling series B. You'll be amending your charter to create a new series of stock called series B. And there's a negotiation about what is the relationship between the new investors and the old investors. So it's a very particular thing that really only applies to companies on that venture capital path. Um, so if you're raising money for your business, you may not be on that path. In fact, you know, most businesses, it's just not appropriate for them. It's probably only really appropriate for like 0.1% of businesses that really have that potential to get big and grow super fast and have an exit that a venture capital investor would be interested in. That doesn't mean you can't raise money. It just means you want to use different terminology because you're really doing something fairly different. So, for example, a lot of my clients, they're like, you know what? If I could just reach my funding goal now, like let's say I want to raise like a million dollars. I think with that funding, I could probably get to profitability and I would never need to raise money again. So in that case, it doesn't really make sense to call it a round because you're only doing it once. Um, even if you think you might do it multiple times, it's gonna, it's not gonna be that A round, B round, C round model with a very particular, you know, set of terms that are what is used in the venture capital world. So, um, I might just call it, you know, I'm raising funding for my business <laughs> or I'm, you know, I'm raising funding using a convertible note, um, or I'm offering equity. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean you won't do, you know, raise more money sometime in the future, but you know, there's no reason to call it a round because that can kind of be confusing because it really does evoke that venture capital model. So I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Um, but yeah, I think the big message is, you know, venture capital style funding gets a lot of attention. And so a lot of entrepreneurs, even when they're not on that path and if that path isn't a fit for them, they'll still borrow certain terminology or concepts from that world. And it often kind of just sounds funny because it just isn't really what you're doing. And it almost... It's I like it when people are really um, authentic about what they're actually doing <laughs> and don't try to fit into some cookie cutter 
thing of like, oh, this is what it's supposed to look like when a business raises funding. You know, just be really specific about what you're doing. There's nothing wrong if what you're doing is different from what a lot of the mainstream conversations are are sounding like. So, uh, and I think it just makes you sound like a lot more uh, knowledgeable and um, under, you know, understanding what is really going on and understanding the ecosystem and, and what your place is in it and not confusing people about what you're doing. All right. See you soon. Bye.